Hello everyone and welcome to a December unboxing of Book Box Club. So if you have been watching me for any length of time, you probably know that Book Box Club are a UK based YA monthly a book subscription a box. I will leave a link to their website in the description down below where you can obviously subscribe to them yourself. Unfortunately for the time being, I think that this will be the last Book Box Club box that I get because my circumstances have recently changed and I can no longer afford to get things like this for myself every month. Um, but I'm sure that when my financial situation improves again I will definitely restart my membership with BookBox Club because I need to reiterate they are an amazing monthly book subscription box. I know there are so many out there but I really love BookBox Club. I especially love the owners Libby and Kate. They've been absolutely amazing to me um, so I will definitely when I do have the money again I will definitely be restarting my membership but at the moment I think sadly this will be the last one that you see for the time being and I just had to have have this last final box because the theme was winter fairy tales and that just sounds exactly 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 what I need and what I love so without further ado I'm just going to open up the lid and get straight on into the box so the first thing I see is this lovely little card with Merry Christmas on it and then on the back it says Dear Alex wishing you an unashamedly bookish Christmas love Libby and Kate see this is how lovely these girls are and as I said I thoroughly thoroughly recommend subscribing to their book box because they're just so lovely so yeah thank you for that and then we have the spoiler card with Winter Fairy Tales, December 2017 on. Look at that lovely, lovely illustration. Of course, I'm not going to look at the back of this because I don't want to spoil myself for the box. The next thing I see is this little rolled up scroll that says, please open me last because this is the official invitation to the online book club meeting that they have every month, which is to do with the book of the month of that's in this box. So obviously I'm not going to open it because it's going to tell me what book it is. So I'm going to open that later. And then we have all of these turquoise squiggly things that I am just going to once again throw all over the floor because that is standard. Anyway, the next thing I see in this box is this lovely notebook with Bibbity Bobbity Boo on with the fairy godmother on. How cute is that? I love that style of illustration. And on the back, it's got a cover illustration by TJ Librano for Book Box Club. So absolutely adore that. It's so, so magical and so lovely. And it's just got lined paper in it. So I would definitely be making use of that. Thank you. The next thing I see is this very, very cute little Russian doll. I don't know if it's a necklace or a bracelet. I think it's a bracelet. And it says, tie this doll around your wrist. When it breaks, you'll have a wish. How cute is that? Absolutely love it. And that is from Baba Yaga's wishing doll I guess no that's what it's called Bubba Yugga's wishing doll and it's from a brand called Charmed Delight Co they've got an Etsy shop there so yeah absolutely love that I think that's absolutely adorable so yeah thank you for that the next thing I see this looks very very exciting because it looks edible I'm not entirely sure what it is yet it says isn't this delicious said Gretel which is obviously from the fairy tale Hansel and Gretel this is gingerbread flavoured marshmallows. Oh my gosh. Oh, they look so, so yummy. They really, really do. I'm going to get into those later and I'm going to absolutely love them. I've never had gingerbread flavoured marshmallows. So that sounds super delicious. So yeah, really, really excited for those. The next thing I see in here is this thing with Christmas trees on. But I'm going to get out of the packet because I'm not entirely sure what it is. Oh, it's very, very nice and sort of soft to touch. What is it? It's from a brand called Hazel and Pip. You see there. And it is like a scarf or a shawl or something. Oh, how cute is that? Oh, it's lovely. And I do actually wear things like this. I wear like light scarves pretty much like all year round. Um, but so certainly obviously in the colder months so yeah thank you for that that's really really lovely so I'll definitely be wearing that there's also a pencil here that says fairy tales do come true which is something that I think we can probably all agree with and I think all that's left is this very large 
book bundle. So I think there's two books in here. And I think if I remember rightly, they did say there would be two books in this box. So I'm super excited to get into this because I don't know what either of these books are. So hopefully I can just get the string off and let you guys know. So the book always comes up um, wrapped in this lovely silver paper. So I'm going to get right into it. I think we have one hardback and one paperback. Yes, we do. Wow. Wow. It's, I think they are a book and its sequel. So we have The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden and The Girl in the Tower by Catherine Arden. And there's a bookmark here advertising both of them. How cute is that? So on one side of the bookmark, The Bear and the Nightingale, in the north, the wind had teeth that bit after sunset, even in summer. And then on the back, we've got The Girl in the Tower. I will see the world beyond this forest and I will not count the cost. How cute is that? And to know that they're like together so I can read one after the other. I have seen these books around and I have heard amazing things about them. I know they are very wintry and cosy and magical. Um, so I'm going to read the back of The Bear in the Nightingale, which I think is the first one. Beware the evil in the woods, in a village at the edge of the wilderness of northern Russia, where the winds blow cold and the snow falls many months of the year, an elderly servant tells stories of sorcery, folklore and the winter king to the children of the family, tales of old magic and frowned upon by the church. But for the young wild Vasya, these are far more than just stories. She alone can see the house spirits that guard her home and sense the growing forces of dark magic in the woods. So that sounds so, so cool. I'm definitely going to be picking this up very, very soon. I'm not going to read the back of The Girl in the Tower because I think it's a sequel. So I don't want to obviously spoil myself for this book in any way. But I love them. I love them so, so much. I'm going to look under the dust jacket of The Girl in the Tower. So it's just like a plain sort of black navy blue with a sort of bronzy, coppery writing on the spine. Oh, so, so cute. So cute. Really, really happy that I have these books because so I have heard great magical things about them. So, yeah, really looking forward to getting into these very, very soon. And that is it for my December Book Box Club unboxing. Did you get it this month? Please let me know. I will leave all of my social media in the description down below. I hope you're having an awesome day and I will see you very soon for another video. Bye bye.